Hello everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I've got the background with the birds today. I know that's quite popular, people like it. Also, I'm going to be doing a channel with message from the Divine Masculine Twin Flame today. Tune into the current energies. Yeah, that's this is um, quite a popular reading as well. So I'll be doing a few more of these over the next few days, but we'll keep it changing. And we can jump in with the first card. You were in my dreams again last night. I always dream of you every night. You are my ultimate fantasy. My beloved Divine Feminine, remember, the twin flames we choose as one. So if you are choosing to be with your one true love, then I'm making that same core choice. Might still be just on the inside at the moment so you might not see the effects the results on the outside but please know that as you choose your heaven on earth deeper and deeper I'm doing the same and please know that I do know how much in love with you I am how much I'm one with you Similar to the divine, how much I want to be with every single piece of you. Even though we may push each other to the limits, our love will always be eternal and limitless. I will choose to love myself, love life and fall in love my divine partner again every day. So it's again. again. Core choices, choosing as one. I want to wrap you up in my love. I love every little bit of you. And share every little bit of myself with every little bit of you. I won't settle for anything like that because you're choosing not to settle. Because I love you so much and so completely. <clears throat> I remember this part of our relationship with the Divine is the same as our relationship with our Twin Flame. Whoop! Hell nearly went flying there for a moment. One second. We have the star, so there you have it. I wished for you too. You may be dealing with an Aquarius here, or you may be an Aquarius. But as I make these choices, as I make this wish, I am also looking deeply into the pools of my subconscious memories and awareness. Which is helping me find the answer to love's riddles. And my inner perceptions of emotions and my insights into the character of others are probably clearer than usual at this time. I'm less likely to be deceived by others' pretenses and appearances that try to disguise or hide underlying realities <clears throat> we have number 11 twin flame card remembrance our journey is one of selfless love for our twin and the awakening of others remember the answers you seek are found within the stillness of your heart as we remember our twin flame evolution, know that I feel and see your light and I am always with you. There's no reason to resist the process, especially at this point. If you're not willing to choose separation, neither am I. This is all about who we choose to be when no one's watching deep in our hearts. 
And if you know that sincerely <clears throat> and choose only love, you can never choose separation and neither can I. And you can never find separation, only union in that innocence and that humility and authenticity. Deep in your heart that sincerity. Yeah, we could never ever possibly hide from the divine who will give everything to you with you and through you <clears throat> life is too short to keep your feelings to yourself i cannot stay silent any longer with these words hidden inside my heart and soul because they want to burst out of my chest and my mouth i love you so we're deciding together here to replace all doubt with faith. Please know that you are receiving a manifestation of the Divine's love for you. Rely on your faith to go forward in strength. It's, your heart is leading you to your good and so is mine. This is, this is the way to move forward into union and beyond. through the door of union with the divine I cleanse all unwanted thoughts and feelings from my aura surrendering everything to the divine I let go of all limiting beliefs that have been holding me back so we're already together and I don't want that to sound all wishy-washy because <clears throat> the journey culminates in coming together physically and having the romantic relationship but you grow it from the inside out and then the outer reality shifts to match the inner so acknowledge your perfection and then you can emulate love and be one with love Union is oneness at our core, with love. The hanged man. Hanging to attain enlightenment. That's what I'm doing. If it's not permanent, it's not of the, it's not of the divine. But all things of the divine are permanent. So you must trust that this union is permanent because it's of love. Then you can surrender to it, and I can surrender to it, and lay upon the face of it, and know it's there forever. Yeah, you know everything that you do and we're, that we're doing together as a team in unison. Benefits the entire collective. Number 16, light and love. We are born of the light and share a love that transcends time and space. Through our light and love, we found each other in this lifetime. Our journey to alignment has begun. It's a holy contract and communion of love. And the deeper we commit, the more life is brought to us and the more we thrive. It's a holy relationship. It's sustainable. It's beneficial for everyone but for fear. Reject any hope of being with fear. Just keep choosing love. No matter how complicated this gets, I won't ever give up on us. We are divine beings. It's okay to accept that about yourself. This is the way to come into union. Mm. 
the lesson of union is to practice self-love to not love yourself if it is to not love your twin flame deep deeply in your heart completely and unconditionally and in doing so you find out who you really are who i really am and who i have always been to you i have always been loving you okay everybody i'm going to end this message here i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video bye bye